How are these little baby Ellie so cute, you guys? Look at them. Look at them. Oh, I had no idea I would be so enchanted with these, or I would have gotten elephants here in Sohula San Safari so much sooner. They truly are just so delightful to watch. Look at that little trunk. You're going to need a lot of time in order to develop the brain to be able to control that trunk, little one. I was reading something that said it takes somewhere like two to five years for an elephant calf to actually be able to develop the control over its trunk that an adult has. They use it for picking things up. They use it for sniffing like everything, basically, because it is a nose. Oh, yeah. They use it for being able to touch and interact through touch with other members of their herd. And they also use it for uh, drinking from, which apparently is really hard. So baby elephants usually can't use their trunks to drink with. <gasps> Another baby Ellie. We're so lucky. Ellie's everywhere. But the baby Ellie's actually can't use their trunks to drink with right away because they don't have enough control over their trunk to suck the water up and then put it in their mouth or to drink through their nose. So what they do is they have to actually use their mouth. And that's why you'll see so many cute videos of baby elephants leaning down to use their mouth to drink. And then, you know, they're not that coordinated, so they tumble into the water, which I think is ridiculously cute. All right, let's leave little Jose alone, and we're going to get back to work on preparing Suhula Sands Safari, my friends. And today, since we talked about water, I think what I want to do is I want to come down over to this little lake that we have been making and actually expand it so we have a cascading waterfall come over into the Bachelor Oasis, where we are trying to make a place that we can move Quiet the elephant and any of the male zebra who don't get to stay in the vast horizons because they're going to pick fights. So that should be something easy to do. We'll, we'll work on the water part today. Then we'll try to get quiet moved. Oh my gosh, I thought we had a loose giraffe for just a second. <gasps> be still my heart. Playfulness. You like gave me a little bit of a heart attack, my dear. But uh, once we manage to get quiet over here, let's call the mechanic on over again. Then we can go ahead and get some people over here, drawing them with water. Just like the elephants will roam across. No, Venture! Venture's about to die of old age, you guys. Oh, geez, but there's a lot of poop on the ground, and at least that means we can put a whole bunch of wonderful proteas down. The dung beetles will be quite happy. Oh, Venture, rest in peace, buddy! Oh no, not Joy! <gasps> Joy the giraffe is about to die of old age too. Oh, you guys. Oh no, not Joy! Okay, that's it. That's it, you guys. I That's too sad. I cannot handle that. I think it's time. Plans have just changed. With two of our oldest of all of our giraffes suddenly passing away. Oh look, there's three little juveniles. At least when you have juvenile animals now. But with three of our giraffes suddenly passing away, which is just too too much for me, we're gonna come in and we're actually going to try Justice the Second, Zawadi who needs a new name, Laughter, Discovery the Second, who I have on contraceptives. Okay. Discovery the Second, we probably could have him be released now that I think of it. To the wilds but at the same time i like him yeah we actually have a whole bunch of female giraffes and we don't have any males so let's actually go ahead and we're going to adopt a new giraffe and we're going to look up a really cool adjective for hmm oh i know we're i know what we're going to do we are constantly believing in Suhula San Safari, and we believe in our giraffes. So we're going to try to find a white male giraffe, and we are going to name him Persistence, I think. Well, not Persistence. Persistence sounds like a female name, doesn't it? So let me look up a cool adjective, or a synonym, pardon me. Synonym for Persistence. There we go. And we're actually going to name, let's see, cinnamon, tenacity, determination, resolve. <gasps> resolve is such an awesome name. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look for a male giraffe. 
And these are the reticulated giraffes. And we are going to name the hopeful, fingers crossed, albino. Oh, there's no albino male right now. I feel like the albino giraffes have gotten a lot harder to find. Are there any albino females right now? There is! There is a one albino female with no fertility. <laughs> That's not going to help us. All right, we'll go ahead and adopt this guy from I Run the Market. He is a gold level giraffe. Come here, buddy. And we're going to add him on in. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to name him... Resolve, because I think that sounds like a wonderful name for our giraffes. And we do need to add in a new male, because there's so many females. And we'll keep our eyes out for a new white giraffe, because I, I do think we need to bring in some of the albino giraffes anytime we have the opportunity. Also, there's no ATMs. Hmm. Oh, and I need to put this into a work zone if I want anybody to come and take care of it. Well, gosh, we got really distracted. <laughs> in the first couple seconds of actually getting going again, didn't we guys? Alright, let's do... Oh wait, Horizon Climate. That's what I want. Horizon's Climate. We're gonna have that be involved. And this. And this. And this. There we go. And we just had a new animal. Alright! Welcome Resolve! From I Run the Market. Can we see it? Look at his genealogy! That's so cool! He comes from a huge tower! I love that we can actually see the different family members in the genealogy for any of the animals we add into our zoos now. That is so cool! Alright, and let's actually add in a tree for Resolve, because he's new. Since we put down these beautiful giraffe trees whenever we have new members of the family. And Resolve, let's put his tree over here. Yeah, let's put history over here next to where we are going to have, hopefully, the really cool Jeep tour that we will convince people to come over to. Not just yet. This is going to be a multi-day, like day dedicated, determined evolution of Sahul of Sand Safari to be able to get people to come over to the side. But we will manage it. And we're going to have this be Giraffe Tree of Resolve. Oh, I love that we're naming all the giraffes after cool emotions. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna wiggle over here. We're actually going to pause for a second. You guys know how I dislike pausing. However, we have an important project to do. We are going to modify the terrain, which means we have to temporarily remove the barrier. Here, actually, we should be able to do this without pausing because this is still going to be an interior right here. Oh no, they'll complain because we have another habitat door over here. All right, well hang in there, friends. There's a um, temporary drought happening that has slowed everything down, we'll say. There we go. Let's smooth this out and smooth that out. Nice, I like that look a lot better, actually. Then we'll have this come over here. And we're gonna make a pool this direction. We need to make it pretty deep over on this side because over in this pool we're going to have the water deep enough for an elephant to be able to swim in some of it. Not all of it, but at least in some of it. And I'm really surprised by how small an area needs to be for the elephants to be able to swim. I would think that you would need to have like a really big big pool, a big waterway, a big oasis, uh, or what do they call it? A big pan of water is what they call it in Wild Earth, which you guys know how much I love watching Wild Earth so much. I actually listen to Wild Earth whenever I am doing some off-screen work on Planet Zoo so that I can learn from the fantastic tour guides and biologists who are on their team all about the wildlife of Africa and how deeply I wish that we could have educational programs like Wild Earth everywhere so that we could have experts from every corner of the world live, like on a live stream, tell us about how cool the wildlife is. My biggest dream is to be able to actually afford being able to get a camera 
that is in a backpack so I can travel around where I am, you know, when it's safe to travel again and show you guys live the beautiful Appalachian Mountains or any other place that we might end up visiting. Oh, that'd be just so delightful and fun. I would be so proud. All right, there we go. Let's actually make this pond on this side a little bit bigger. There we go. Since we're going to put a tiny little cascade right down there. Nice. All right, so then over here, the elephants can actually swim in this. And now we're going to move back. Well, we need to put the barrier back down first thing. But yeah, I would love that. What do you guys think about that? If we could go and just be live and be able to see different parts of the world together. Not for like the touristy things, but for being able to see different parts of the world for its natural wonders, like going to natural parks together. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. All right, so we're gonna remove some of these rocks really quickly. And now that we have completed the habitat, we'll unpause. We have a risk that they'll try to make an escape. If Opal is still alive, I swear that we're gonna see that zebra immediately pop over here. You guys know Opal is such an escape artist. She loves being able to get loose. And then let's come in and we're going to grab more of the Savannah rocks. We're gonna make just a nice little pile of Savannah rocks over here to try to ease this up and make it look a little more naturalistic. All right, let's put a big old Savannah rock, yeah. Right over here. Then another one right here. And perhaps right here, there we go. And we just need to make it look like a little falls that hopefully none of the animals will get too many ideas about going down. Something tells me that the zebra would be the ones because they love climbing up things. Here we go. Maybe if we do this. Do you guys remember when Simba, the zebra that we had in the Nintendo, actually managed to get loose and he climbed up like on top of a bunch of rocks? It was very apt considering the name. All right, and we'll add more Savannah rocks over here. I am so proud when we're able to get a project somewhat done, guys. I used to think that we were really slow at what we do. We weren't being nice to ourselves, guys. It takes a lot of detailed work and dedication to get things done in Planet Zoo. So if you're like, man, I'm watching like all these other people and like seeing their amazing zoos and they just come together so fast. Don't despair. It's a lot of work when you're looking at like a speed build or something. That's a ton of work somebody just did really fast. And if you take a, like a while to make something, I promise you, they probably did too. You're just seeing it all condensed together. And the most important thing is if you enjoyed yourself, like I'm having a great time right now, putting down these rocks and imagining our Ellie's being able to swim over here. Ooh la la, that'll be so fun. And look at this. Oh, I love when we're able to transform things like this. All right, let's go ahead and put this toy over here. Oh no, Calypio the second is about to die of old age. Uh, we're gonna have to just go ahead and start over on the wild dogs, guys. Rest in peace, Calypio. I don't even wanna see it right now, it's too sad. We have to start completely over on the wild dogs because we have lost out on that wild dog family. Much to my sorrow. That will be a project that we will take care of in the near future. Oh, Calypio. Oh, it's so sad. Oh gosh, that is something that we just lost out on and it's a good life lesson. The reason that we just really struggled with our poor, um, our poor African wild dogs is that they didn't have enough pups in time. We really thought that we'd have like, oh, there's always going to be more time to have the puppies, but we got older parents and we weren't paying attention to when those parents became elders. They should have had whoever was going to be the alpha take over long before they did, long before they became elders, because then all of their children ended up being 
way too old to be able to have babies of their own. There we go. A nice waterfall that's floating in the air. Dang it. All right. There must be a reason why you want to hide these. And scoot that over a little. All right, you guys. What do you think about Quiet's waterfall? I think if I could just... There we go. Grab that. A little bit more like this. Scooch it out just a little bit. And when you're having trouble hiding these little special water effects, I find adding in just one little rock. Just enough. Voila. Just enough to hide it. And you still have the overall, nice, the overall effect. Wait a second. <gasps> the African Wild Dog family continues. Oh my gosh, finally, we're still, we still have stuff going on. Enjoy the seconds expecting offspring. Oh, happy days. And African Wild Dogs, I saw a lot of dung in there. That's also happy days. We can add in more proteas. Jeff will be so happy. We can collect up all of the proteas and put them into a garden at some point in the near future. But all right, so we have now added in a wild or a waterfall for quiet. Our our wonderful elephant. Let's put in a companion waterfall on this side really quick. Now that we know what we're looking for. All right, midsection. And la -da -da. Let's see. There we go. We can easily add in. Here, I can even tuck this one back a little bit more. Oh, and the bow constrictor just had babies. You know how much they dislike being in crowded groups, so we'll try to take care of that in just a second. There's that. Oh, that's a really cool waterfall. I love that look. Then we need to put something on the bottom to help spread the ripples of the waterfall. Uh-oh. We're about to be in the dark, guys. Hang in there. Nice. All right, let's get in and put down a few more little rocks. And then together, you guys and I will have made something very special indeed. I think we're going to have to wait until we can actually see what we're doing. Oh, and now it's raining. How appropriate. All right, we'll have to wait till we can see what we're doing. In fact, I wonder if that's a good sign that we should try <gasps> adding in some special lights. Of course. Of course, of course. Let us actually go ahead and we are going to have a very special way to light this area up. Uh, we could do a mix of like hiding New World pathing pieces, but I think ooh, we could do like fire, but I don't want to scare the African elephants. I think we should do some of the butterflies because of course we can have some big beautiful butterflies. I know there are many butterfly species in Africa. I'm just not familiar with any of them. <gasps> so cool. I love this. Putting the butterfly lights over here to light the area up and you can actually change what color the lights are as well. So if we want to have something that's a little bit dimmer, we want to have something, ooh, these blues actually look really cool. Let's put down a couple blue butterflies. Uh, I kind of want to put a butterfly on a tree. That seems very apt, doesn't it? Find a nice little, let's see, continent, Africa. Uh, ooh, elephant grass, of course. We could add in some elephant grass at the back here. Oh no, Karma's about to die of old age! Karma, my girl! I am so glad that we have gone ahead and we have started bringing in new giraffes to be able to replace the beautiful giraffes that we are losing. And you know what? Let's actually adopt that female, that albino female we were just looking at for giraffes a little bit ago. Look at how cool that waterfall looks now! But let's adopt that albino female and add her in. Oh, and Selma's about to have her babies. What? What? Okay, hang on. Where's that albino female? Right there. Oh, wait. No, she has zero percent. <gasps> a 
albino male! Go, 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 go! We got him! We have an albino male who has just been added in. We'll go ahead and maybe name him Karma the Second. Because Karma, well, Karma is such a cool name. All right, let's look up a synonym for Karma. Since Karma has now passed on. Ooh, Fate! <gasps> Ooh, that's a good synonym. Mystique, another good synonym. Spirit, sense, tone, aura, flavor, halo, mood. Nimbus, aroma. Hmm. Ambience. Huh. I think we'll go ahead and we will name the new giraffe we just got. Uh, let's actually name him Karma. Karma. Maybe, like, we want to think good karma. So what are some cool synonyms, which are words that are, uh, like, similar? They mean the same thing, but they're a little bit different than the word you're looking at. Hmm. Satisfying, effective, good, adequate, disaster. Do we have an honor? I don't think we have an honor. Oh! <gasps> There's so many puppies! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. They're gold level puppies, you guys! Oh my goodness, this is great! We have very wonderful gold level pups. I am so delighted by this. We might have to get a second, a second group going on here. Oh dear. Meanwhile, the puff adders are having a hard time. In you guys go. The dried up well needs a little bit of restoration. Oh, holy doly. Let's go ahead and send these guys to the zoo. There we go. All right, so, wow, what a busy day. <laughs> Is this the new guy? It's the new guy, check him out. He doesn't even have a single scratch on him. He has never been in a fight. So I think karma, mystique, hmm. Honor, wisdom, let me think about this, because karma is kind of like awareness of what goes around. It's like your conscience, right? You know what? He's going to be karma the second. And then when he has a healthy child, we'll have the karma name be the albino giraffes. So he's got so many females to pick from. Hopefully that will go well. We also have more poop, so I can cover that up with protea flowers. Like, it's a whole tower of females in there that our giraffe is going to be able to pick from. <laughs> so hopefully that will go well for him. And look at that! We have decorated down here. Oh! Quickly! While we still can, friends. Let's get in and grab those tiny rocks. That we want to just barely sneak in here. To cover up. There we go cover up the pieces we don't want showing because we don't need we don't need to show off there we are and then another piece right over here just right and another piece right here and see it actually makes your waterfall look a lot more naturalistic I feel to have these boulders. Look at that. To have those boulders there and it hides where the little water sprout is. What a beautiful area we've made. I am so proud of it. And we have added in some amazing new giraffes that I am very excited to have. We did need to bring in some new blood to our giraffes. Uh, let's put in another giraffe tree, this time for karma. And since Karma is a male, we'll go ahead and put it over here halfway in Bachelor Oasis. So this will be the Giraffe, Giraffe Tree of Karma, the second. Boom. I love it. All right, so we made good progress on getting Quiet's area up and going. I think I'm pretty comfortable with the idea of potentially adding Quiet over here next time. We can also search through our zebra, see how the zebra population is doing. We need to check in on our African wild dog pups, actually. Now that should be next because that's very exciting. And we'll continue fitting out this area and trying to entertain our guest. We do have a lot of expenses and we do have some very thirsty and hungry guests that we could be getting a lot of money from. So we're going to be looking into how to take care of that next time. But you guys, I am so excited to introduce a whole bunch of beautiful new giraffes and new genetics with those giraffes to our wonderful, wonderful Sahula Sand Safari. If you guys could, do please leave a like. 
to help our giraffes reach all of the delicious treats that they have. It really does help our entire Pixel Biology channel and all of our adventures. Likes are more important than ever. Uh, or otherwise, I really wouldn't ask you guys for them. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.